coffee time and uh, welcome to this week's video. Uh, the intention this morning was to, to come out uh, to this slightly different uh, place, still around the, the same area where I uh, sort of catch uh, and video the road here, but I've been driving um, from home to work um, past uh, this field and, and the River Loddon here uh, for the last week and with the frosts um, and the lovely mornings, you know, a couple of mornings have been sort of really orangey sky and I just thought uh, it's not so much the wildlife today I thought I'd really come out and see if I can take some nice uh, pictures and some imagery of of well it was the mist coming off of uh, the river and uh, with the pylons and, uh, and the orange sky early in the week it just looked lovely but come out today typically uh, it's just a little bit warmer although I had to uh, scrape off the car uh, it's just uh, just a little bit warmer so it wasn't to be uh, walked through got some got some nice shots it was it was still the dawn was still reasonably nice um, but not quite what I uh, imagined uh, it would be so it was strange I got it here just right for for dawn really but that's just too late for the deer I had to walk up um, to where I normally film to see whether they were about but um, there was a buzzer going over kite uh, but uh, yeah the, the deer it was too late for the deer so what now so what I'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna pop home um, get some fishing gear ready going out with a, a good friend Richard uh, to do some perch fishing tomorrow so that's that's going to be that so a uh, bit of housework uh, and then what I'm going to probably do is to pop down to Follington Marshes it looks as if the wind uh, is not going to be as high as last week it was uh, it just wasn't possible last week so it looks as if it's going to be reasonably sunny um, uh, and if the uh, if the winds are quite manageable then yeah give that a go um, like I say, tomorrow morning might come out early before I go fishing. I'm not quite sure what time I've got to, 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 to meet Richard, uh, but we're going to do that. It's been <laughs> another reason why I came out slightly later was because it was my birthday yesterday, 60. Crikey, uh, there's an act to try and fly. I've uh, got some lovely presents, especially from my kids. I've uh, got a voucher to, to, to book for some holidays, so we're going to have to look um, at some nice places. And, you know, it's initially thinking Scotland uh, might be nice to get some to get some imagery and some pictures so yeah so I'm gonna have to plan that so that's really good so yeah um, see what comes hopefully Farnington Marshes um, pulls out something but uh, yeah it's just it's just lovely to be out it was uh, quite a lovely day actually it was not too windy, um, which I was quite relieved about uh, once I got there. And what I like about this shot, I was concentrating on the marsh harrier as he was swooping uh, around uh, the, the marshes. And uh, you really do get an idea of about how urban it is, really. Uh, although the peninsula itself, the, the sort of reserve itself, um, is uh, very rural, uh, the, the actual backdrop to it um, is quite, quite sort of industrial and you have the sort of main road coming past so if the wind's blowing in the wrong direction you do get a lot of road noise but um, yeah if you get some nice southerly winds uh, uh, coming off, off the shore then it's uh, yeah it tends to be much a much peaceful quieter place what I like about this particular shot here is this oyster catcher catching his uh, lunch and he successfully gets this little oyster and then and promptly deals with it and swallows it up. And quite a few red shanks uh, along the coast here and uh, because the uh, tide, it was on low tide, uh, they were quite a few all spread out around uh, the outside uh, of the sea wall and here we have the curlew and again uh, sort of watched him for quite a few few minutes to see whether he managed to get himself some some lunch you can definitely see how they've evolved for this really long uh, beak
the way in which it, it deals with it, gives it a little clean uh, and then consumes and consumes the worm. The kestrel was ever present actually, it was moving up and down uh, the wall and the, the wind not too hard but you could see he's to keeping himself pretty still and I was quite pleased to, to shoot it in the correct mode this time and I love the way in which it keeps its head really still. I was really pleased and fortunate uh, for the short-eared owl here to show really clearly. What I find interesting, there's quite a few people walking around and you can see here, it's he's hiding in plain sight if you like. They're sort of walking past, quite oblivious of his presence. flew off around the reserve quite some distance away you could see him hunting um, at the far end closer to the to the road as it were um, but I thought be patient uh, see if he returns and on upon his return did a real low pass and I was quite pleased with which the way the camera tracked it lost him just subtly um, when he got the, the tracking got a bit confused uh, with the brambles but as soon as he came past locked onto it again and uh, the light is about sort of three three half past three in the afternoon and the light was just magical and you can see him coming across here looking for his prey didn't manage to get any photographs so speaking to a couple of locals they seem to think that uh, this pair they will probably stay until about mid mid February so I'm going to give it a couple more sessions I think but primarily I want to try and get some nice some nice pictures so the next day we had a real hard frost uh, so the initial plan of going perch fishing was uh, scuppered because the, the lake was iced over um, but it was a really nice, uh, I walked around with my camera and took some took some images which was really quite nice so plan B, um, we're at Winchester so there's the itching that comes past uh, and uh, we, we've got the rights to, to fish this so it was uh, grayling and uh, brown trout so lovely grayling here and really pleased to use my father's centre pin. Well, it was a lovely evening um, at uh, Farlington Marshes, and I like the way you can look across here over, over Portsmouth and sunset. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe, and as always, look forward to you joining me in the next one.